This circuit is a small signal model of a BJT. The DC values for IC1 is given as 1 milliamp and IC2 is given as 2 milliamps. It is desired to find our Pi1, GM2, RN, which includes R1, and the gain, V out over V sig. A suggestion would be to pause this video at this time, solve the circuit on your own, and compare your answers to this solution. R pi 1 is equal to VT, the thermal voltage, over IB1, where IB1 is related to IC1 as IC1 over beta. GM2 is equal to IC2 over, again, the thermal voltage VT. This gives R pi 1 is 500 ohms and GM2 is 80 milli. To find Rn, including R1, the pathway is seen from the top where the red line is, which goes from R1 through R pi 1, so it's R1 plus R pi 1. To find the overall gain, V out over V sig, an equation for V out is needed. V out is a minus GM2 V pi 2, which is shown by the red arrow, times the RL. To find V pi 2, the resistance reflection rule can be used to find V1, which is shown at the top of the page. The R equivalent of that after the resistance reflection rule is used for RE gives that V1 is equal to a minus GM1 V pi 1 times R equivalent. R equivalent is found by the resistance reflection rule as seen above RE times beta plus 1 gets rid of the GM2 V pi 2 dependent source. This then leaves R equivalent as R3 in parallel with R pi 2 plus RE times beta plus 1. Next, V pi 2 needs to be found. This can be found by using the same resistance reflection rule and seen by the circuit at the top, it will be a voltage divider so V pi 2, which is the voltage across R pi 2, will be equal to V1 times R pi 2 over the summation of R pi 2 plus Re times beta plus 1. Plugging in V1 in this equation gives the minus GM1 V pi 1 R equivalent. When R equivalent is plugged into this equation, the R pi 2 plus Re times beta plus 1 on the top cancels with the bottom of the V pi 2 equation and reduces to the minus GM1 R pi 2 R3 times V pi 1 divided by R3 plus R pi 2 plus Re times beta plus 1. The last equation that is needed to be found is V pi 1. V pi 1 is the voltage across R pi 1. It can be found using the voltage divider with V sig. So V pi 1 is equal to V sig times R pi 1 divided by the summation of the three resistors, R sig plus R1 plus R pi 1. Now that we have V pi 1, V pi 2, and V out, we can use each of these and substitute in the correct places to get V out over V sig. So V out is the minus GM2 and plug in the new equation for V pi 2 times RL and V pi 2 is in terms of V pi 1. So substituting in the correct equation for that results in the end equation. This equation is a minus GM2 RL R pi 1 minus GM1, R3, R pi 2, all over the quantity R pi 1 plus R1 plus R sig times the quantity R3 plus R pi 2 plus Re times beta plus 1.